Welcome to another episode of Firebase Releases Deep Dive. Today, I want to show you the beta version of the Release Monitoring Dashboard. Launching a new version of an app is really exciting, especially now that we can tap into the power of Gemini to build cool features. But with a new app release comes a lot of challenges. We need to keep track of version uptake, new bugs, the impact of those bugs, and a comparison to earlier releases. Oof, that's a lot! And as developers, we know how stressful and time-consuming that can be. The new release monitoring dashboard from Firebase can help. It gives you one place to monitor all the data you need to feel confident about your release, and it's updated in real time. This dashboard is powered by Crashlytics and gives you a high-level view of the most important release metrics. Let's see it in action. After deploying your new release, navigate to your project in the Firebase console. Expand the Release and Monitor section and click on Release Monitoring. Here you can see all the information we provide to help you quickly understand how users interact with the new features. These expanded crash-free metrics charts give you immediate feedback on crashes so you can have a sense of the release's impact. Speaking of crashes, we've added an important metric, crash-free sessions. The crash-free sessions metric is the percentage of sessions that happened during a selected time period and did not end in a crash. This is different from the crash-free users metric, which is the percentage of users who engaged with your app during a selected time period who did not have a crash. These crash-free sessions show how reliable your app is, which helps you build trust with users. It's especially important to track these crash-free sessions right after a new release, because a crash during someone's first interaction could cause them to abandon your app. The new dashboard also allows you to compare the live metrics from your latest releases with up to two of your previously released builds, as you can see here. This gives you the context you need to understand your app's historical stability. In addition to all of that, the new dashboard lets you monitor new crashes as they happen. Here, at the top New Issues table, you can see the impact of the issues that happened for the first time in this new release. This lets you quickly make a decision on whether to halt or roll back the release. You can try it with your latest release in just three steps. First, make sure your app uses at minimum these versions of Crashlytics SDK. Second, publish a new version of the app to production and have a sufficient number of engaged users. And finally, open the release monitoring dashboard as I showed earlier and see your new data arrived in real time. For more examples and to read more about this new dashboard, check out the Firebase documentation on how to monitor the stability of your latest app release and this blog post written by Ryan and Rosario. And that's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Firebase Releases Deep Dive. Thank you.